What's up guys, it's Biddy and I'm here with none other than you guys want to introduce yourselves. Hi Facebook, hello. Hey, I'm GJ Reggie. And we are touring London today and I'm going to be asking them a few questions about their career in the poker world and life in general. And we're going to be hitting up a few interesting spots in the London area and right now we're grabbing some coffee at the Attendant Roasters Coffee which is actually a bathroom that was transformed into a coffee house so we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> All right, what got you guys into streaming? Tell me about the start of your careers. So I started streaming through a certain someone called Jason Somerville and he was a big inspiration. He, he, uh, he ran a competition giving away a platinum pass and I participated in that competition. Didn't win unfortunately, uh, but carried on streaming, just loved streaming so much. And here we are now, Pokestars Ambassadors. It's been quite the journey. Yeah, so for me it was like exactly the same time. Um, the Platinum Pass adventure was going on and I'd, I didn't really play much poker, but I thought it looked like fun and thought I wanted to give it a go. And if I wasn't going to start streaming to try and win a Platinum Pass, I was like, I'm probably never going to do it ever. So yeah, I took the leap. Also didn't win or, or anything, but I don't know. Made I met so many people, made so many friends and like it was just the most fun. So I uh, carried on doing it and here we are. Awesome. And then when you started, what sort of stakes were you playing and how big of an audience would you guys get? Yeah, we both started off from nothing really. You know, we had to build our communities from the ground up. Um, in terms of stakes, you know, I, I started off playing pretty small. I still do play small right now. It's just where I feel most comfortable. Um, but over that time, you know, we've built our audiences, we've built communities. But, you know, it's possible you can build like audiences and communities from the ground up. So, yeah, I recommend anyone getting into streaming. It's, it's really gratifying, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it started basically from, from like zero, or like a couple of viewers to, um, I would say like a relatively small audience, maybe like 20, 25 regularly at the very beginning. And when I first started playing, I played 25 cent sit and goes. I'd like two table 25 cent sit and goes after work and just like, just play that just to get some practice in. And then, yeah, <laughs> we've, we've slowly worked our way up from, uh, from that sense. Tell me a little about yourselves, maybe hobbies, something that people might not know about you guys. Yeah, so my big hobby is Arsenal Football Club. I'm a big gooner, um, go to the pub every time. I'm, I'm more of a, a watcher of a football as opposed to a player of football. Love going down to the pub and watching the Arsenal. Now, one thing that people might not know about me though is that I actually hold a Guinness World Record for tea bag throwing and making cups of tea. Um, it's a bit of a weird one, but I did it like 10 years ago and it's still there, it still holds. So it's a weird one, but it's something, I guess. Yeah, for me, I, I mean, I feel like most people know this anyway, but I love I love video gaming in general and watching anime. I play a lot of video games just with friends and on stream and stuff like that as well. Uh, but I also really like crafting and building things. So anything from like Lego to cross stitching to diamond painting or whatever. I don't know. I just really like doing all that artsy stuff. I find it really relaxing and kind of therapeutic and something that like it's really good to uh, to wind down after uh, after a day. So yeah, that's like something maybe uh, that I enjoy doing just to relax. Awesome. If you were to start your poker career over, what would you do differently? Oh man, that's like a really, really tough question. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really like study enough in terms of the game. I feel like I'm always playing catch up when it comes to how, how good I am at the game or, you know, trying to uh, improve. So I feel like if I started over, I would I would be a bit more disciplined and try and study a lot more than I do now just to make sure um, I actually get like good at the game. But um, I don't really know because poker, this, this whole thing was a career that I kind of just fell into. I didn't really expect what's happened to happen. So I think it's, uh, it's kind of hard to say. I don't know about you. I'd agree. Um, you know, I kind of got into mixed games through Jason. I didn't really give No Limit Hold'em a chance. Um, so like, if I could, if I could start over again, like I would give No Limit Hold'em a little bit more time. Obviously, Did I was over. Really? Yeah, I but no, you. but like legit, like I do think so. I think I just didn't give it enough love. Um, I think I just like mixed games too much. But like, if I could go back, because that's where the money is, right? Um, I would like to get better at it, but that game is way above me now, so I do love my mixed games. But if I could go back, I would try and get better at No Limit Hold'em for sure. Do you guys have high stakes aspirations, or are you more focused on the content side? 
Um, I'm, I'm not even sure uh, it's necessarily even the content side. Like a, a big thing of it for me is the community that I've got now and trying to cultivate that and build that. Like I think I'm really, really lucky with the way I've built my stream and that we've got a, it's, it's a small community, but they're really loyal and we're all like, I would honestly consider them all really good friends and um, trying, to, trying to grow that side of things and maybe even one day have my own sort of small live tournament uh, would be like live tournament series myself would be really really cool I would love to one day play high stakes it would be nice it looks like fun uh, play the EPT main event for example maybe go to the world series I think it would be really cool but I, I don't think that's like where I would you know um, set the bar at the moment yeah I'd agree with GJ mostly um, content always a big priority of me um, yes there's always aspirations to you know do bigger and, 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 and better things in terms of like buy-ins and whatnot with events um, I would love to go to the World Series and play some of the $1,500 mixed games over there and maybe progress and one day like my big aspiration is to play the 50k Poker Players Championship for me that's like that's the big one I want to play yeah that, that's the pinnacle of mixed games so I would love to play that but I agree with GJ mostly now just content just trying to get better at streaming you know grow our audience grow our community and see where it takes us Who is your guy's biggest inspiration in the poker world? Oh, for me, 100% Jason Somerville. I mentioned him earlier. He was the guy that got me into streaming. He was the guy that got me into mixed games. He is the one inspiration. And the funny thing is, I haven't met him yet. Hopefully one day in Vegas, I'll get to meet him. But I've got him all to thank for where I am today. So, what a legend. I don't know. I think for me, it's kind of hard to say. Just, uh, is it bad if I'm like, I'm not really Sure. I think there's a lot of people that I that I'm inspired by, especially kind of people that I'm really good friends with now. On the, like even, even like Kai and Vincent and like some people on the Focus Stars team, yeah. they do so well. And um, yeah, I would just say like mostly the people around me because I I haven't really followed poker for that long. I haven't really been in poker for that long. I didn't watch any of the old school kind of high stakes games. I didn't I, like I don't know about a lot about the history of poker and the uh, the people have done really well in the past. So yeah, I would just say like the friends and the team that we have around me because uh, I I think they all do really well. They're all really great people, and I'm very lucky to to be a part of the team. No. Oh, awesome. And going off that, how has STARS affected your guys' careers? Oh, I mean, I, li I literally wouldn't be here yeah. <laughs> without them. Uh, yeah, if I, if, I didn't have, uh, if I didn't have this opportunity for on Focus Stars, I, I really wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. And um, they've been really good to us over the last four years. Yeah, four years. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's it would been have crazy. Like, yeah. to, even just to say that we've been with STARS for four years sounds, uh, sounds ridiculous. And yeah, they've just given us the opportunity to do so many things that we I could never have even imagined doing. Everything from playing my first ever 10K online to like being able to travel and meet so many people. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, you even had your own yep. li online series named after you exactly, as well. Exactly, you know, I had my own online series. You know, we're coming to stops like EPT London. You know, we've been to Prague, we've been to Malta. We've been to all these wonderful places. And you know, we, we really do live the dream. So we're very, very fortunate. I do wake up like every time, every time <laughs> I switch on the stream, I'm like, I can't believe we do this. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we do have stars to thank. Biggest score of your lifetime as a poker player? Oh, mine was quite recent actually. Uh, last, well, last EPT stop at Barcelona, I took down the 550 horse for 17.3 thousand euros, which was pretty huge. My second uh, mixed games live tournament as well, which was incredible. A lot of somewhat beginner's luck, I'd say, but we'll you take it. That, absolutely, like we got the trophy, <laughs> we got the dub, so yeah, really happy with that. Especially in a mixed game as well, so that was yeah, cool. Yeah, of course. Uh, mine was actually yesterday. Funnily <laughs> I guess. enough. Yeah, I know. Uh, played the 550 EPT 8 game and came fifth yesterday, which uh, for 3.9k, 3, 3 which is my, uh, my biggest score ever. Um, also my biggest like overall, not just live. like. And in a mixed game as well. And in a mixed game again as well. Like, it's kind exactly. of awful. <laughs> He's so happy. He's more happy than I wanted in a mixed game. And your second game. one was in triple draw as well. So. Yeah. yeah, so uh, yeah, there you go. There you go. Did you splurge? You maybe haven't had enough time. But did you buy yourself anything after your big win? No, it just it just goes back into playing more poker, really, to be honest. Um, you know, 
playing another 558 game here, playing another 1.1k, just, just putting it back into the mixed games. So each and every EPT stop, just putting it back in. Yeah, I haven't, uh, I haven't obviously splurged on anything just yet since uh, since it was only yesterday, but I am going to Comic Con this weekend, so I don't know, maybe we just buy a few extra things, yeah. treat ourselves. Awesome. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years, ideally? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I mean, it's really tough to say, because the, the, the poker sphere may change at that point. I don't know if it will be very Twitch orientated, whether it will be more YouTube, whether it will be more back to, to live stops or whatnot. But personally, you know, I would like to see myself move up and maybe play some cash games in Vegas, perhaps, or maybe play some WSFP tournaments, because I need to go out there. I need to play. Yeah. would love a bracelet or two. So hopefully something like that or maybe get close to that in the next 10 years. I would like to still be streaming, but we just don't know how things are going to change between now and then. Yeah, I think uh, 10 years is a long time. Like, it's really hard to, to plan for kind of thing. Uh, I don't really know. Like, streaming, I love streaming. I'd love to be still... I, I mean, it would be great to still be doing that at the time, but I, I kind of don't know. I, do, I don't think that streaming is going to be full forever, so we'll see. I think if I could get a little bit better at the game, continue playing live, because I'm really enjoying that at the moment, and yeah, like you say, move up, uh, move up a few sticks, maybe play yeah. it a bit higher, that'd be, uh, that'd be a lot of fun, but we will see. Awesome. Okay, and last question. What are you most looking forward to right now? Oh, Bahamas, I think. Yeah, Bahamas. <laughs> it's got to be. Like, with the PCA and the PSPC coming up uh, at the end of uh, at the end of January, you know, we've waited a long time for this because it's been postponed so much. I think uh, going to the PSPC in the Bahamas has got to be number one. I mean, we get to, we both get to play the 25K. Uh, yeah. I've never been to the Bahamas before. I've heard it's, like, you know, a really... Exactly. Uh, it's going to be a really great place, a lot of fun. And I, I think, yeah. I, I, I'd, I'd agree. You know, we gave away three platinum passes over between when it was meant to happen and now. We gave one to Gilly, Richie, Rob, and uh, Flushy and Seb as well. Peace yeah, and love, who won it through the Deadstream promo uh, promotion. So it'll be good to see those guys, and hopefully one of us will run deep in that tournament. So yeah, Bahamas for sure. Yeah. Thanks for watching this, and uh, shout outs uh, to Jack as well, of course, for, for having yeah. us on and to, to you know poker news for this. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I hope uh, if you enjoyed the trip around London today. Awesome stuff. Cheers. Be